Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's time for some entertainment news. Kaylee, what do you got today? That's right. Bugs Bunny uh, has one less weapon to dodge. Hollywood mourns the death of a pointer sister, but first graduates get more love from YouTube. Check this one out. Lady Gaga and Alicia Keys were among the artists celebrating the accomplishments of graduates during a YouTube special dubbed Dear Class of 2020. The YouTube production that aired on Sunday included performances from Grammy Award winning artist Lizzo and Latin pop star Mulama. But like most virtual award shows and graduations this year, things got political. Here's singer songwriter Alicia Keys message to those graduates world it feels broken right now it is broken right now in so many ways but you know you're taking your heartbreak and your outrage and you're putting it into action and you are showing that your generation is the one that's going to heal this Dear Class of 2020 was originally scheduled to air Saturday, but was moved to Sunday to avoid a co scheduling conflict with a memorial service for George Floyd. It's over four hours in length. Again, that gets political. None of us really like awards shows or uh, uh, celebrity entertainment that involves politics. So we'll move on. Meanwhile, <laughs> Hollywood. Okay, Kaylee, you just didn't want okay. us to get on a rant. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little serious. Hollywood does more in the death of Bonnie Pointer, a Grammy-winning founding member of, member of the Pointer Sisters, who was essential to the group's early success but left the group before most of their biggest hits. Pointer was 69 and died of cardiac arrest in L.A., her publicist says. The song Yes We Can Can became their breakout hit, followed up with That's a Plenty, which featured an eclectic mix of musical styles ranging from jazz to country, to pop. They won a Grammy Award in 1974 for Best Country Vocal Performance by a group for the song Fairy Tale, which Bonnie co wrote. Bonnie was initially the one who brought them all together to pursue singing. They were uh, gospel singing in their church in Oakland, and then she's like, hey, you know what? Let's branch out. So then she brought on one of her sisters, and then later she brought on her other two sisters who were already married and had kids. So then they travel and I mean, I'm sure you guys already know all this stuff, but well, no, I didn't very know iconic. about I didn't know about the original one who, uh, you know, started the group and then wasn't in the group. So how did that happen? Yeah. Well, we interviewed Ruth Pointer right. on the show a few years ago and mm -hmm. she's lovely and she, she gave me her book and her book, I mean, is tell very all. tell all. Yeah. I mean, she tells everything about herself, things I wouldn't have come to telling about myself that happened to me. Yeah. But what I never understood, though, is how. You have these sisters, and the one that started the group leaves the group. That's what and I'm saying. It's not even a part of their success. Like all the hits we know, like Jump for My Love, yeah. you know, Slow Hand, yeah. all the songs we yeah. know. I mean, I'm sure she was probably maybe managing. I don't remember that aspect of the book about Bonnie. So she didn't talk about that. I don't remember. So, yeah. I mean, I had to reread that would, it. I would like to know that. that yeah, part. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a mystery. It's that like I don't the know. fourth Jonas brother. Does he get yeah. any money from them? Does he get any credit? Pity money. No, nothing. <laughs> Beth Vanilla says no. But but now, did you say country and Pointer Sisters in the same sentence? Did they you were say country? country. They won a did Grammy you say for country? country. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's crazy. What? Which I, is crazy no because idea. yeah, a lot of their most known stuff has that yeah. R and B, right, hip hop. Exactly. Not hip hop, but you know, like yeah. that funky tune. Grammy did, Award for country. You didn't hear their remake of Stand by Your Man. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, stand, let's hear it. Stand by your mind. <laughs> there it is. That one deserves a Grammy. Okay. <laughs> As they say in show business, the show must go on. Film, TV, and music productions in California can finally hit record and start filming on June 12th. The state's Department of Health's OK is subject to county approval based on local jurisdictions. Production cast, crew, and other industry workers are being asked to abide by safety protocols between labor and management. Safety measures include required protective equipment for makeup artists and actors when they're not on camera, virtual or social distance casting, and thorough cleaning of furniture and props throughout filming. Other requirements include COVID-19 testing and temperature checks, which is good news for those winter and spring shows that are uh, going to pop up soon. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. they can just do the editing quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the editing is what takes the time. Yeah, yeah that is good. All right. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> a lot of productions have been shut down. Or at least pushed back. Yes, yeah. and reality shows are, are not like, you know, they're supposed to be filming 
Real Housewives of Orange County right now, Real Housewives mm -hmm. of Dallas supposed to be filming, you know, everything's kind of postponed, right. pushed back. So when we actually get new content, that's who, yeah. Yeah. I don't know when that is. Is everything gonna be okay this fall? I'm thinking winter, when is this all gonna be? Yeah, I mean, know? it's hard telling. Again, it just depends on editing and how quickly, you know, I think there even might be some fights on who gets the studio win because yeah. there's oh, so right. many shows to that, make that up. Are, yeah, that are backed up. It's all but backed up. will all those Hollywood elites still go to each other and give of Hollywood course, kisses. Of course they will. I don't know. Can they get that close? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. All right, Katie, what else you got? Moving on. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's all, folks. No more guns for Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. The newest iteration of the classic cartoon called Looney Tunes Cartoons will look a bit different than previous versions of the show. Executive producer Peter Browngart tells the New York Times because of the climate, quote, we're not doing guns. But he also assures fans, quote, we can do cartoony violence, TNT, the Acme stuff, all that was kind of grandfathered in. Elmer Fudd first debuted on the show in 1940 and along with Yosemite Sam, was often seen in the possession of a firearm. It's currently available to stream this month on HBO. A classic that is uh, getting a little revision here. I, when are they gonna stop making childhood guns? Or do they? Do they still make them for kids? I'm wondering. It's just, Jeremy's not saying a word. I'm not saying a word. It's just an odd thing because, one, it's traditionally geared towards family-friendly television. Bugs Bunny, yeah. Elmer Fudd, you know, whatever. Yeah. But is it family-friendly to have an anvil drop on your head? Is no. it family-friendly to, to carry guns? Is it family-friendly to make I, a bomb and blow right. somebody's head up? I think it's all lumped into this one sum. And well, they just said they're okay with the violence, just not certain kinds of violence. <laughs> just not gun violence. See, they're... <coughs> That's why I just need to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Uh, UFC fighter Conor yeah. McGregor announced his retirement for the third time in four years. The wow. UFC schedule is in upheaval due to the coronavirus pandemic, but the 31-year-old Irish superstar was expected to get his title shot <clears throat> later this year, and he recently had been in talks to fight even earlier. Retirements in combat sports are many times a tool to gather attention to <clears throat> and increased bargaining power. Car Connor called it quits in 2016 and 29, 2019, both right before he got back into the octagon to secure two iconic wins. That one in 2019, he won in the first round in 40 seconds. I'm so, sorry. So is he quitting? I, Probably not. I, I have to do it. I know the walk. <laughs> the walk. <laughs> the walk is pretty what? awesome. You what? got to fight me? Yeah. What? what? You got to say it I in English. In an Irish accent. He's Irish? He's Irish. He's very Irish. What do you got it, Jeremy? Who stole my lucky charms, don't you know? <laughs> Who stole the lucky charms for my cereal? I don't know. Jeremy. You're gonna fight me? I don't think you're gonna fight me, Captain. <laughs> Have some more chocolate. Have some more chocolate. Oh yeah, that was the best oh impression God. ever. <laughs> I don't know if I can even top that. I mean, we might just have to end it there. Oh, Anyways, so. I'm sorry. Well, no. you can't have to notice the walk. It was. <laughs> what is going on with this dude? Everyone, everyone likes his walk. That's, he's, very, he's very known for that. Yes. Um, so we'll see if he retires or not. All right. Meanwhile, MJ retires some iconic memorabilia. Heritage Auctions is putting Michael Jordan's baseball glove and a right foot 1985 Air Jordan 1 basketball sneaker up for sale. And this isn't your average baseball glove. This one appears to be the very first Jordan baseball glove ever available for sale. The current bid is nearly 9,000 for the glove and 14,000 for the shoe. And these items have a cool backstory. Michael's first wife, Juanita, didn't know what to get the greatest of all time for his 32nd birthday, who would? So she sent these items to Israel for them to mold and turn into silver. You can see the permanent epoxy in the glove and some remnants of the temporary epoxy in the shoe. And that shoe is a size 13 and a half. Obviously, it is huge. These might go for a pretty penny since the ESPN MJ documentary titled Last Dance garnered millions of viewers and uh, MJ rose to fam fame once again, you know. Everyone's fame gets more famous in these documentaries, as you yeah, see with true. Tiger King. Yeah, so uh, I think that's why they are being auctioned off because now is the time to do it. Since wait, who the owns fame it right now? Regenerated. Does Juanita own it, or does? No, it was it was some collector overseas. Oh. How does somebody oh. get their hands on that though? Like, why would Michael ever want to sell that gift? 
I don't know. Well. And the ones that were made into silver, there were only like 10 sets of the baseball glove and the shoe. Did you say hmm. it was his first wife? Well, that maybe that's I'm why. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't but I just know. saw a gift of that value just because your first wife doesn't mean it doesn't Listen, have yeah, sentimental value. That, but, and, but maybe and, the new wife said, get rid of it. And, and that could be because money is not really an, an, an uh, option for him. I mean, he's got plenty of money. So oh, it's yeah. Not, it's not that. Yeah, for life. Yeah, maybe it was the new wife. <laughs> Probably <I would> was. <laughs> I've always said, too, like, I can't comprehend people who don't have money problems. Yeah. I always say, if you've never had money problems, if you've never struggled about how you're going to pay your rent, we can't be friends. Because so I just well, can't identify with but that. But you don't I know. I can't identify don't with that. Past was. Yeah, you don't but know. if you watch yeah. that last. Well, with him, I'm saying yeah, I can be friends with him. him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, with him definitely. But I'm talking about all those rich people that get born into oh, it. Oh, they get born. Yeah. I I'm just like I don't understand that. I don't. They wouldn't want to be friends with us anyway. Jeremy. They really <laughs> were too low brow. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. <laughs> Did you just see me walk around like this? They're disowning me right now. He's out. Yeah. Okay. All right, Kaylee. Kaylee, I'm going to wrap. As in, what's his name? Okay. Who? Don't go anywhere. Ozax Fox Sam will be right back. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. I'm going to win the fight. I'm going to knock all. you out right Where's now. Where's your belt? There you go. <laughs>